Hi, I'm Julia Sharman and I'm on the MA Composition course at Sheffield University. Hi, I'm Mario Cáceres. I'm a musician and sound engineer from Chile and I'm on the MA of Composition 2, Electroacoustic Pathway. Yeah, I'm on the Electroacoustic Pathway too. <laughs> yeah, so um, what attracted you first of all to the course then? Uh, I wanted to do... I wanted to pursue some composition postgraduate degree and uh, since I'm a sound engineer uh, somehow it fit the electroacoustic pathway mm -hmm. to my interests and uh, what I've done in the past too. Right, yeah, yeah. I mean, the thing is for me is that I've been teaching in FE for a long time and my music background's been playing in bands, doing improvisation and, and I just wanted a complete change and I thought I'll go, I'll go back to college. I would have a go at the electroacoustics rather than the instrumental because again I thought well do something completely new and and it's, it's just been fantastic because for the first time as a musician I've been creating my own stuff because I've always worked in collaboration but this has been about me finding my own voice and it's like I say with electroacoustics I mean the very first session I went into I was so nervous that was the first module and I was so nervous because I thought you know, te technology, IT, you know, and the very first thing we worked on was Audacity. And it was just like, <laughs> hallelujah, I know how to use that. <laughs> and then, of course, we went on to CDP and all the really heavy duty stuff, but it was taken in a way that it was just, it was perfect. So, yeah, I'm so glad. I suppose with the um, the electroacoustics, we've learned about all the different softwares and how to manipulate sound, haven't we, and editing. Um, but I, I think because, although it's electroacoustic techniques, because Adam and Adrian are both composers and world-class composers in this field, they've been able to show us how to work with the material to produce something meaningful, haven't they? Mm. And and uh, not just about manipulating a sound, but putting it in the context of a bigger piece. Uh, and then, you know, learning how to diffuse the piece to an audience so because obviously with electroacoustics you don't have an orchestra or a band of musicians <clears throat> but you of course I mean the first time they talked about performing I thought it was just press play um, but the fact that we could send it out to 32 speakers in a darkened space it was just amazing wasn't it yeah. so um, but yeah I think um, for me that that first particular module on electroacoustics has has given me more confidence in using technology to create music and to shape music and and more confidence in myself as an artist uh, you know finding my voice and and then I think the fact that we've been able to link up with the instrumental side of things as well I think it's just a very open course isn't it if, if you come up with an idea it's sort of encouraged isn't it yeah yeah exactly I think the the, the whole thing is lo is to find your own voice yeah, I think the, with electroacoustic and uh, Adam, Adam and Adrian, they teach you all the all the tools and they show show you what has been done in the past. Yes, uh, but everything it's just about finding your own voice. You you just learn all all those things, and at at some point, very early, I think you have to say, okay, this is what I know now yeah and this is what I'm about to do now yes with these techniques yes yeah and because they they've got such a knowledge that, that they can offer really useful guidance I mean I found the feedback my learning curve's been like that it's not <laughs> that it's it's been really steep and um yeah I mean you know we're only in our second term and I'm just so fired up, you know, I just, uh, and for me, I'm glad that I've chosen to do the course part time so that I've, because, uh, you know, I'm coming back into college in my fifties. I, you know, I thought it'd probably take me a little bit of time to get back into that routine of learning. And, and it's just been a really good pace. Well, the other thing that I think is really valuable is that uh, we had had the chance to play our compositions just a couple of months yes yes from the from the beginning of the, of the course that's right we, we started late september yeah and but late november we had the opportunity to play ourselves in, in a major uh, music festival here yeah. in sheffield yeah yeah sand junction sand yeah, junction yeah. so yes yeah, yeah I, I feel that there's been a real respect you know it's not oh, they're students uh, they're coming in to do an ma course or it's like you know th there's a real 
effort there's real commitment to sh helping us shape our our sound and then giving us those opportunities and i think the listening session as well yeah. it's brilliant so uh, once every two weeks to have the opportunity of sitting down with staff other students and people that have been involved in the electroacoustic program to to sit down and listen to the piece once and then you can't say anything they give you feedback and then you listen to it again and then you can talk about it i, I just think that's it's so valuable yeah yeah really that, valuable. that's been lovely since day one everyone makes you feel that you're part of the community of the music department here yeah. in sheffield yeah 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 no it's great well this thing because i was worried coming in as a mature student uh well the first thing i did was check out the mature student society because i thought i was going to feel out of it a bit out on a limb um but it, it doesn't feel that and actually it's, got, it's a nice mix of ages anyway and and everyone just brings what they can to to the um course so it, it's great it's really good the lectures are great. I think the, the lecturers are superb. Mm. Depending on the particular module, you have different assessments that can be composition and you can submit it on, on a score or you can submit an audio file and you have to do some writing as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, I think that one of one of the most important things is uh, the feedback that yeah. you get yeah, from the lecturers. Absolutely. It's so thorough. It's so thorough, yeah. yeah. So it's such practical, um, solid feedback, but at the same time there's an aesthetic to it as well that you know that they're, they're bringing all their experience as composers into the feedback as well. It's, it's, it's priceless, really. Everyone has their established office hours and you can book appointments yeah. to ask them absolutely anything. You can reach yeah. them by email or you can run into each other in the... Yeah, yeah, and, and, and Nick as well, who's a technician. I mean, he's he's so helpful, isn't he? You know, he, he, he can provide so much. And, and on that point, the sound house, I mean, what a facility. I, I mean, I'm in the studio all the time. You know, if you having to do this uh, privately, it costs so much. Yeah. It? But to have this 24-7, it's just yeah, we have incredible. This, we have the sound house, which is the specific building for the Department of Music that has lots of practice rooms and six fully equipped studios yeah. that are accessible by us 24-7, almost 24-7. Yeah. So it's, it's insane to have all these facilities available for us. Yeah. The thing that I think is really useful is that we've been encouraged to apply for international competitions with our music. So you've already, you've gone for three, haven't you? Yeah, I applied to three international <laughs> competitions. Too. Yeah. Yeah, but the, the great thing is that we we managed to create all our music with electroacoustic or instrumental techniques and we have the opportunity to show that music yeah. in public concerts yeah. and we have the opportunity to apply for international competition mm -hmm. so it's not like we create our assessment and okay that's on the shelf yeah. and we oh, forgot uh, about that yeah it's it's actual um, um, it's, it's an actual music piece yeah. that yeah. we can use and we can add to our professional portfolio you know future collaborative projects and i, I suddenly thought Ballet and electroacoustics, and then I was thinking, oh, ballet companies, and I was thinking, oh, northern, northern dance. <laughs> so it's just like I feel so inspired. You know, again, I, I can't say I, I felt a little bit uh, sort of burnt out with teaching and everything, and suddenly I've come back in, and and I just feel so energized. So um, yeah, sky's the limit. I I wasn't sure that I had the right experience, the right background, but actually. Um, I think if you, you've got a commitment, you're interested in in learning and developing your musical voice, then this is a brilliant course to apply for, and 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 it's just yeah worth putting that application in. There's there's lots of things that you can um, put into your application. So not only are you writing about your experience and your interests, but you're able to upload your music so they can hear what you're you're doing, um, but but don't assume that you can't apply for this course because of its reputation or or because of the people that have come from doing this course. You know, I, I would uh, um, I've just found this such an accessible, open course and encouraging course. Yeah, absolutely, I agree. It's not it's, it's not a rigid course. I think yeah. uh, you have lots of opportunities to mix. Uh, 
themes, mixed subjects uh, yes. inside the, the modules as well. Yeah. And at the end of the day, you, you just find your own way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, with that, that guiding hand, it's, yeah. it's there. You, you know, you're not on your own. Three key things, electroacoustics, that's that's just like say been a revelation. I, I didn't know anything about it, and I love it. And uh, and then Adam Stanovich, Adrian Moore, fantastic lecturers, yeah, brilliant composers. And then the opportunity of integrating with um, students from other disciplines within the music. 